everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to this Cat Scrape News YouTube channel. The dies I'll be using is the embossed edge square dies, the embossed edge rectangle dies, and then also I'll be using the stitched and layered Christmas tree die. Um, it comes with this multiple uh, layers of the Christmas tree and also it comes with accessories. The wrapped up with a bow slimline die. I'll be using mainly the ribbon sides and that small square there. And then also the slimline paper pad A Cozy Christmas that was released a few months back. And then also the Jolly Sweet Sprinkles. I have it in the Cat Scrappiness Embellishment Organizer there. And then it comes with a little Santa heads and also peppermint swirl candies. Uh, let me just go ahead and put this in a Cat Scrappiness Embellishment Tray so you guys can see what those Santa faces look like and then the peppermint swirl candies. So that is what I'll be using on my project. So the size of the card is an A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. This is the pattern paper that I used from A Cozy Christmas. And then here is the actual stitch and layered Christmas tree die. It cuts up in one piece, but it's all individual pieces there that you layer one top on top of the other. And I'll be using two of those tree um, die cuts there to mimic uh, Santa Claus's mustache. Here's wrapped up with a bow die and so I just cut it out in black cardstock and I trimmed off the ribbon sides there. Here is Santa's uh, belt buckle. I used the small square um, die in that wrapped up with a bow slimline die set and then I paired it up with the embossed edge square dies, the smallest die in that set to create the belt buckle, and then the embossed edge rectangle dies. I used the, I believe it's second to the largest, if not the third largest die to create that window frame. So um, I went ahead and ran that through my die cutting machine. I also uh, cut to size a piece of acetate sheet to close up that window there. So I ran it through my die cut machine. Now I'm going to use that frame there to uh, center the inner piece of that designer paper to make sure that it's nice and straight. And I, again, I use that as a guide. Now I'm putting some adhesive tape on the frame because I'm going to be closing up that window frame, the cover there, and I will go ahead and hear the acetate sheet. Uh, I did trim it to size, but I had a little excess of the acetate sheet, so I went ahead and just trimmed that off with a pair of scissors. So I'm going to assemble the front of that window shaker front there. So here is the um, ribbon sides of the wrapped up with a bow slimline die. And again, I cut both sides because I really wanted that stitching detail and it was the right size um, for the belt on my um, shaker window there. So I go ahead and cut the two pieces and I layer it and I trim off the excess there. And then I go ahead and um, glue that belt buckle that I created with the small square die in that set and again the embossed edge square die and I use uh, just a liquid uh, glue pen to adhere it and then here is the stitched and layered Christmas tree die. I use the largest of the uh, tree die cut and then I think the third um, die cut there and then I go ahead and add a little flat back wood embellishment to um, mimic Santa's little nose there. And then I go ahead and start putting the foam adhesive tape behind the frame. So that pretty much completes the front of the shaker window there. And the foam tape measures about a quarter of an inch. And then the um, height of that, the thickness of that foam tape is I think an eighth of an inch. 
though I also put a piece of foam tape behind Santa's mustache just to make it more sturdy. And again, I'm using the Jolly Sweet Sprinkles with the Santa Heads and the Peppermint Swirl Candies. And here are just some mini foam um, balls that I got at a craft store. And I only put a little bit there because they do um, kind of stick to the acetate sheet because they're full of static. So I go ahead and put that in the sprinkle mix there and I move it um, I, strate I strategically move it so that the foam tape on Santa's beard does not stick to any of those sprinkles. Now I'm ready to seal up that shaker window and I peel off the adhesive backing there. And now I can just center it with that um, pattern paper already um, adhered to the card base. So that is the shaker portion completed and the card completed, but I did wanted to add just a little uh, embellishment of that peppermint swirl candy there and I place it in the center of Santa's belt buckle. And that little tool there is the cat scrappiness embellishment pickup tool. So that is my card for you guys today using that Christmas tree die in a different way and also pieces of the new wrapped up with a bow slimline die. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.